Okay, so just a recap of uh, the sikha we started last week, the Purim sikha. So we brought the story of Kamrab Shach to the B'zeda, that they were, uh, they were in a Siddhas, they were... Uh, oh, oh, okay. So Rabbi and Zeda were making a Siddhas Purim together, and Rabbi got up and he killed the Zeda. The next year he asked him to do it again, and he said, Leib Chol Shat Tebashat Nisa. So we asked, how is it possible that uh, that uh, uh, that Rabbi, who was an Almeida, how could he even even by accident kill somebody? So we brought different uh, answers from the Marsha, the Chsam for the Yavitz, Um and we don't find the Chal that he apologized. And then we said that in his base, maybe perhaps it was an in Indian Ruchni, it wasn't, didn't happen by Gashmir. So the Rebbe said, you can't say that because we learn a halacha from the story. And until somebody shed him say you, that from this story, you should not intoxicate yourself because uh, of what happened. So the Rebbe says is that you must say that the story happened Kipshutai and they drank wine Kipshutai. Nevertheless, there was no Shvich has done. The Rebbe brought a hectim of what happened when Miss Nadav Navio. The Meshur Rabbeinu said, <clears throat> We know that they came into the base of Middash intoxicated. So we see that their Misa was connected with drinking too much wine. Uh, but the question is, Meshur Rabbeinu said that, uh, told Aaron that your sons are greater than, than me and you. So the Chaim Kaddish explains that Nadav Navio, because they loved Hashem so much, they wanted to become an, an experienced place in Nefesh. So they drank a lot of wine, kapshute, so that they should be feel at ease and, and, and it shouldn't stop them. But the purpose of drinking all this wine was in order to experience Klai and Nefesh. And that's why after the whole uh, episode, we say, Yayim Sheikh al It's also to drink wine, which means that drinking wine has to do with Seydis Atera. And when a person goes and learns Seydis Atera, it cannot bring him to the matzah of Klai and Nefesh. And we said in Dalit that it, mean, it doesn't mean that they didn't drink wine kipshutei. They drink wine kipshutei. Um, as we say, as we said, is that because through drinking wine, many, the Shalah says that many Kedoshim and Eretz Yisrael would drink wine, and that would, uh, it was all the Shem Shemayim in order to, uh, uh, their Torah would be able to double and triple, um, because through the Simcha, it's a, it's a, they were able to Megala more. So another one of you also, they, they, they were Kedoshim, Bekrebe Kaddish, and they drank wine in order that they should be able to experience Klaise Nefesh. So Reb Zayda also the same thing. It said that Reb Zayda, like, like it's the same idea, idea of Mises, another one of you. Shachte means that he gave him a lot of wine, like the Marsha says, but it was all for Klaise and Nefesh. Um, and they both got drunk. Rabbo who was uh, a lot greater than him, um, so we said, yeah, so we said like this, we said, that they both drank a lot, like the Shalah says, um, and was, the purpose was to Megala Seda Satera. Now, even though both of them got drunk, Reb Zeda, who was caught in the Samechen, he couldn't handle it. So his soul expired. Rashenkin Rabbo, who was Mechen the Godless, Rabbo, like his name, so he was able to handle it. Rab Zeda had place in Epesh and Rabba obviously did not. So you said we're holding Vav, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's do this. Vav. Well, I think they actually did that. I think we have to let the. Start from Vav, because we were. Okay, the no problem, no problem. Okay. A piece of to come Rabba Shach to let Abzeda, the Cheda, have a little member, Katli. Now we can understand why it says that he shechted him. It doesn't say that he killed him. Now, what does shechita mean? The Gemara in Chulun says, What's the idea of a shechita? Is, is you're bringing the thing up. Through shechting, you're preparing the behema for a person to eat. And through this, you're bringing up the behema from achai to medaber. Why do we say through this? You're bringing up the behema from achai to medaber. One of the many atatim of why or a lot of shecht meat is because um, even though it's tzar balechayim, you're actually bringing the behema to a higher level. Obin Yaneinu, in our story, appears to rabbi shecht to the rebzedek, fi elish to yisayis and medayhu. What does it mean rabbi shecht to the rebzedek? He gave him too much wine. Shei rabbi mashach, 
Vahelis from Zer the Daganalis Shalai Berach. The Rabba wanted and brought the Zera to a very high level. I did say Shigilu I said this for us not the Teda Amukim Beisu Yisim Midai Berach Limude Arogel Lefi Dargosi. Much much higher than than his level by being Megalos said this Teda. But the Rabba Avil the Chleis Anefesh Kipshut the Imamish Kmele not the Avil and and Rabba Zera couldn't handle it and this brought him to Chleis Anefesh. Now, Shachti means that the, the, the soul left his body. Not that he fainted, he mamish left his body. It wasn't that he shed blood, but it was something very high. Rabbi let him say that. Mal kom. What does it mean? He got up. Why, why does the have to use this terminology? What's it? What's it adding? Shlema beer b'zeh. Kima meda al yosi shal rabbi le dagan nalas beis. What does it mean? Come, come means that he got up, which means that rabbi was elevated. Vayakom to kuma isli the psume ad liyada. So what it means? Come rabbi shachta le b'zeh means that he, that rabbi ele, was elevated to a new level. Now, since Rabba was Masad his Kalim, he was great. So even though he actually got a, a higher level, he attained a level, he was elevated automatically. Nevertheless, he did not have place in Evish. However, Reb Zeda, when he, uh, when Rabbi was Megala to him, he couldn't handle it, and he had place in Nefesh. Ah, you're going to ask, what was Rabbi thinking? We know a person is down over here, the Shabbos Yitzara, so how could... Uh, how could Rabbah do this to Rabbah And the answer is, is because Rabbah estimated, and he thought that Rabbah could handle it. Even deeper, even if if Rabbah was able to be pale, that he was able to make tchei samesim afterwards. This is the Shemesh begufim. This Rabbah felt that okay, worst case scenario is I'll I'll, I'll be mechayim mesim. So that was not a stira to the kavanah of neshamas begufim. Why the place never shows the bzeda hoya rak in ari? It was just temporary. So this whole that place and nefesh was only temporary. It was only temporary for for um, for purim. Shenk in the macher achre apurim shein chilu sume ad leyada vadra be boy rachim vachi. However, by Purim, after Purim, the day after that, it's already it's uh, there's no more there's no more lipsumad layada. So what happened? Reb Zeda, Rabbi asked Rachmanis and was Machai Meisim. Passed the kavana again in the Shemes Begufim from Dafka. There is Nichlas Bishalom. Meshul Zman Rachel Katz Bishalom. So it's so the next day. What's the Avedi? The Avedi is in Shemes Begufim. Adelik the Gemara says that Nichlas Bishalom, and then it was Yatz Bishalom. Now we can understand the continuation of the Gemara. The Shana Amar Lei Nesi Marv and Avasud is put in Bahadadi Dadi. Let's make put them together again. Amar Lei, so what do you say? Lei b'chol shayt b'shayt b'shayt nisa. Not every moment are we zeicher for a ness. Lei zubavach Rabbi Lei Tzara Mashi the Ida b'sud is put in Bahakidem. It's not only did Rabbi not take pain; he didn't apologize for what he did last year. La Adar Rabbi the contrary, who his mean is Rabbi Zera La Achsud is a put him yachtev gam b'shana zu. He invited Reb Zeda again to, to have a Purim Soda together. He wanted that it should be pale on Reb Zeda. So he said, yes, the Tachas of the Kavana of the Shem is, is in the Guf. So after Purim, we'll be Mechayim Eisim. Exactly like happened last year. And you a bit of zeta base milus. You have both milus. Ha'ilu the kleisa nefesh. Ha'ilu the milah kavana shal neshamas begufim. Sai you'll get kleisa nefesh. And sai the next day you'll be back in the sham and the guf. 
Or he thought that maybe after a year, Abzeda trained his, trained his neshama that he can handle it. And this is what Abzeda said. He wanted to experience Klesa and Efesh. He wanted, again, to have the Suda together with Rabba. Alpha became a kimish attack of the Shamas Begufim. Since the purpose of Hashem putting us down over here, that is an Ashamma with a goof, he thought that after my, my Nisham is going to get Klesa Nefesh, it's not going to want again and clothe itself in a body. So he said, I don't know what's going to be if, my, if you're going to be able to pile on my neshama that it's going to want to go again into a body. And therefore he said, I don't know what's going to be if my, if you're going to be able to pile on my neshama that it's going to want to go again into a body. And therefore he said, I'm not worried that bad outcomes will come out from this. So, so it's understood also in regards to the Ruchni is taking part of Adli Yad. The Haina Lilma Beifin, the Bahav Vasa, Tisga says at the Tere Yaina Tera, at Shemagil and Matzah Shoshikas, but the Mutsias, a person has to come to the learning Chsidis in a way of Klais and Ephes drunk. She be put him in a kale, called Echem Yachem Yisrael, called Chad, the Chad, the Chomid Dechas Shalcho, Beef Shiru Delay. Each person, the Purim gives the Kaychas to each person according to his level. So Purim gives us this, this uh, chayis that uh, you could learn a lot of chassidus, you could learn a lot of, you could, a lot of, a lot of chassidus, uh, we're not worried that a person will, uh, things, bad things will come out of it. Now, through doing this on Purim, it gives you kechas for the entire year.